Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And we will also have our holiday gift baskets available in the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that option. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network, and it looks like once again, Trifling Texas is on the road today, okay? So if you guys don't know, this story went viral over the weekend. What happened is that three Sonics employees have not been arrested for drug distribution. What's going on is that there was an 11-year-old girl. Her and her family went to Sonics, and so her and her little brother had gotten the kids' meal, and so she was helping her little brother unwrap his hamburger. A pill fell out of the wrappings of the hamburger. So she asked her parents, is this candy? Are we supposed to eat this? and the parents you know took the pill out of her hand they ended up calling the police the police investigated and found out that that pill was MDA aka ecstasy so they ended up doing a raid on the Sonics and they found out that not only were these Sonic employees selling ecstasy but some of them had ecstasy on them so this entire situation is insane I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary illicit drugs served up in a fast food burger led to three arrests in Taylor. The timing was right. The discovery made just before a four-year-old was about to take a bite. KXAN's Will Dupree joins us live outside the Sonic where the manager and two employees were busted. And Will, where exactly were these drugs found? Well, Sydney, this is such a bizarre story. Police tell us that that ecstasy pill was found in the wrapping around a burger meant for that little boy. Police say that the family picked up food last night here at the Sonic. They drove straight to the Taylor Police Station after that to show officers something they found in their order. Police say the family's 11-year-old daughter opened up her younger brother's burger, and that's when she says she found a pill later identified as ecstasy. She actually asked her parents, is this candy? And of course, uh, they were when they came to the police department, they were very upset and we understand why. Police went to the restaurant to investigate and ended up arresting three Sonic employees, one worker for possession of marijuana, another for having four warrants out for his arrest. Officers also took the manager, Tanisha Dancer, into custody for a felony theft warrant. At the jail, police say one of the correctional officers there searched Dancer and found three more ecstasy pills hidden in her clothing. Now, police tell us they are still investigating how that one ecstasy pill got in the little boy's burger wrapper. They also say that the police do not believe there is any kind of safety or health risk to Sonic employees since they made these arrests. Reporting live in Taylor, Will Dupree, KXAN News. Now, that story is crazy as hell. I think the thing that just makes no sense to me is that all three of them had outstanding warrants. They had hefty criminal records. My thing is you're supposed to do a background check where you hire people. So how do all these people have current criminal records and current warrants out for their arrest for other crimes and Sonic just totally ignored that? So I'm not surprised that they all got together and started selling ecstasy because they've been doing fuck shit on the streets. They've been getting in trouble. They've been having warrants and everything else. So this entire situation is crazy. Now granted, when you go to McDonald's, you expect to get a happy meal, but I guess when you go to Sonic's, you can just expect some damn ecstasy. Okay, these three people are very, very lucky that this child did not end up eating that pill. Imagine if the little sister didn't open that hamburger for her little brother and the little brother saw it, assumed it was candy and ate it. That kid could have died. Imagine if the little girl didn't tell her parents what she found and she decided to try it thinking that it was candy. She could have died. They're very lucky that no child died because of the shit that they were involved in. Okay, because this could have turned into a very tragic situation. And then for all you know, they could have blamed the parents because nobody would been none the wiser as to what happened to the little girl so if something would have happened to her or the little brother they might have been like oh well the parents had a stash of ecstasy and the kids found and they ended up ODing so thank goodness that this story did not end up as tragic as it could have been but these three Sonic employees they need to get their damn life this shit don't make no damn sense so I understand that in fast food you may not make a lot of money you got to have other hustles it's one thing to sell drugs on the block it's another thing to bring your drug sales into a work environment and then basically pedal ecstasy pills through the damn drive-through window these three were just doing way too damn much. And especially for the manager to be involved in this, that says a lot about what's going on at this particular restaurant. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire trifling ass situation. Once again, coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. All right, deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.